Hey guys, this is Zero here. I'm doing another vlog review on another Toku movie. Um, I actually just yesterday finished watching um, the the new the guy movie, the Great Soccer Battle, I think it's called. Um, I've been waiting for this movie for a long time, and I, f uh, I found out it was subbed. I watched the uh, Banana Arms sub, not a regular, not the regular groups like Overtime or TV Nihon. Um, because Banana Arms was one of the first ones to have it out in English, so I checked it out. Um, so here's my thoughts on the movie. I liked it. Now, um, a lot of Toku fans out there um, give movies crap because, oh, the plot sucks. and yeah, Shut up, okay? Um, the plot for this movie is about soccer and an alternate world about soccer. So... The soccer part's only, like, really, to be honest, like, like a small part of it. I, well, okay. Um, it's like, like, the whole overarching thing is, uh, uh, this is talking about the villain, um, from the, uh, from the finale of Gaim, uh, Kamen Rider Jam. I think that's his name, Kamen Rider Jam. Um, is basically the big overarching thing with this. Um... Now, the whole soccer thing is just sort of like a, like a front for that. Um, basically, what this is is this is like the game world. If um, instead of beat riders, they were soccer players, and there's some cameos from professional Japanese soccer players and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so uh, and they do use their uh, and instead of the Inves game, they use their uh, um, their lock seeds and their belts for uh, playing soccer. Which sounds kind of strange, but having dance teams who also use Pokemon battles wasn't strange. I don't know. Um, so yeah, um, the soccer thing's only really done once. Um, through uh, f it's, it's only there's only bit one battle that includes soccer. Well, we'll get to that. Uh, um, so this will have spoilers, but. Um, the main point of the movie is this is an alternate world where um, soccer is a, a the form of fighting because um, this takes place part way into um, near the end of Gaim uh, the Gaim show uh, and uh, this uh, this overlord um, doesn't understand he wants all the fighting to stop and then Kota by chance teaches him what soccer is. And then he, of course, he makes this world of this alternate version of Zimbabwe City that's uh, all about soccer instead of dance teams. Um, and uh, each team is, it's weird because, like, there's things like um, Kaito is, like, really sportsman about everything. He's only a rival when they're playing soccer and when he's off the field. He's a nice guy, which is funny because Kaito is kind of like, in the actual series, he's kind of like always, I need more power throughout the whole series, so... Um, but yeah, we do get some new riders in this, um, we get to see, uh, um, uh, Kamen Rider, uh, Kurogane Shin, which has, it shows up in two fights, um, which are both, his screen time is kind of limited, uh, Peko is Kamen Rider, uh, Kamen Rider, uh, Kurogane Shin. He's the one who uses the Matsubukuri Energy Lock Seed. Um, and, uh, and basically there's this, like, bug that's attaching to all the riders that makes them crazy and really want power. And it sucks the, um, it sucks, it, what happens is, um, after a while, after they start getting, like, wah, power, like, fighting for power, um, they start getting, um, uh, like, like, leaves growing out of them, and then eventually they get sucked into their Lock Seeds. And that energy gets transferred to uh, the uh, the golden lock seed, um, which I don't have on me here right now, but I do own that. I've done a review of that. If you want to see the review, probably put a link in the description. Sorry about that jump cut. I got a phone call. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. So yeah, the golden lock seed is taking uh, is gathering energy from all these bugs that are attached to the. Uh, uh, the riders making them go crazy. The only ones who aren't, uh, who don't, who seem to be from the regular world are, um, are Kota 
and Michi because they're the only ones that notice that things are different and they're like, what's going on? So, um, but yeah, so, um, gets to the point where eventually they find out, um, where the gold rider is and, uh, Kojo tries taking him on. Unfortunately, he, one of the bugs got on him and it turns him into the, uh, black guy where he uses the black orange lock seed and the black lemon energy lock seed. Um, which were another promotion of this movie. There's quite a few different lock seeds in this one, so... Um, so, anyways, uh, we got... Uh, we got a Dark Gaim, and the other riders try to go after after them, and uh, and the Golden Rider, uh, I believe it's Common Rider Jam. And, uh, so yeah, um, so it's basically... Michi's trying to stop Kota, and then... Uh, and then, um, uh, I forget the, uh, I forget the little girl's name who becomes the Peach Rider. I'm having a total brain fart right now. Um, well, her and, um, Kaito, uh, use their energy forms and, uh, fight off, try to fight off the Golden, uh, Rider. And, uh, eventually, um, the Overlord that made the world decides, um, he's gonna help, uh, He's gonna help Kota out and try to get his mind back in, uh, back on track. So he has the ability to enter someone's dreams with his own dreams. Um, so it's it's kind of weird. It's kind of like Inception. Um, so he goes into Kota's dream and talks to him and says, "You, yeah, you know, you have the power to stop this and whatnot." And then Kota's dark side starts talking to him, which is interesting. About like you should just give up. You you should just fight for power and not worry about other people. And then Kota basically wakes up and. Uh, he, uh, they take on the Golden Rider, um, and then a big, big sprawling scene with, uh, uh after that, where Kota's taking on the Rider, and all the other Riders get released from their captivity within, uh, Jam, and there's this big scene where they all transform together, and, uh, and, uh, even, uh, the Overlord guy, um, even gets a silver lock seed, and he transforms into his rider form, which basically looks like Gaim with silver arms. I don't actually know what the rider's called, but... Uh, this is the only part of the movie that I thought, this is a little silly. So, to, to just bring the soccer motif back, um, Kamen Rider Jam makes this giant hellfire soccer net behind him, and, Kam and the uh, silver rider... Uh, the one was made from the Overlord, turns into a glowy blue soccer ball. Yep. And all the riders are basically kicking the ball, passing the ball around to give it more power. The cool thing about this, though, is when they go to use the, uh, when Kota goes to do the final kick with the soccer ball, he basically gets this, uh, Kiwami Arms basically gets this, like, um, rainbow rider kick, and then he kicks it, and then that makes the Silver Rider go into his rider kick, and big explosion, boom, and then there we go. It, the fight scenes in this movie are really cool. Um, there's actually a big, big brawl between a bunch of riders and Inves, and um, midway through the movie, it just it looks awesome. Like the, if anything, watch us for the fight scenes. Like they did a really good job with them. Um, but yeah, so the movie just, uh, the movie ends and then they, um, the Overlord says, now I can rest in peace because I know that you'll take care of the world and s says that to Koda and whatever. Um, so I really like the movie. Yeah, the plot's kind of dumb, but plot is only part of these shows. I think that's what people like to forget when it comes to, uh, when it comes to Toku. Um, I hear people won't watch entire seasons because they think the plot's bad. And, or the plot's not engaging. Um, to be honest, like, like again, that's only one part of the show. Um, I mean, then there's shows with really good plots, like Go Busters, which are commercial flops. So, like, I mean, it's... Um, there was a post recently that basically said why... It was basically, why Go Busters isn't becoming Power Rangers? And it lists all these reasons that were really good. Uh, one of the big reasons being that um, it was kind of a flop in Japan. Um, the toy sale, the toys didn't sell well either. So, um, 
it's something that I just want to say is plot isn't everything. And I, and one of the biggest things I hear when people talk about games, they complain about the movies and the crossovers uh, within the series. Listen, a series needs to have filler. Um, it needs to have like a, a like a quieter moment for some time. And if a crossover does that, whatever. If the series is all plot, eventually like it gets too serious. I mean, good example: Five and Blade, two shows that are. They're 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 good shows, but they are they're just not as good as other seasons like Gaim or O's or uh, in my opinion Foes. So um, it's nice to have these movies to sort of give us you know a little leeway to even out the um, uh, the uh, to even out the the drama and stuff. So. Um, if you're going into this movie, if you're going into this movie being like, well, I'm not going to like it because the plot seems dumb, you're not going to like the movie. And honestly, you leave those feelings at the door. It's a movie. It's supposed to be fun. Like, if the plot, if the plot sucks, who the fuck cares? We're watching Kamen Rider. It's guys fighting each other. It's superheroes fighting each other. And monsters. Like, that, that's what... That's what the movie promises, and it delivers on that. So, before anybody goes in the comments and says, Oh, the movie's plot sucked. Who gives a fuck, okay? Um, anyways, guys. That was my thoughts on the uh, Gaim soccer movie. I thought it was awesome. Uh, will I watch it again? Eh, probably will. Uh, I do plan to watch Gaim again at some point with my brother, because we've been watching... We watched uh, O's together, Foes together, and uh, we both watched Wizard when it was airing. Actually, we both quit it, and he just finished it now. So, And he seems interested in Gaim, so um, we'll probably watch it next. But uh, anyways, guys, see you later. Thanks for watching.